Hi YouTube, figured I'd do a quick vid on my Blackhawk rifle case for an AR-15. I guess you could throw other stuff in here, but it's pretty much designed for an AR-15. As you see, it says the world's finest tactical nylon. I don't know if that's true or not, but it is darn good stuff. I've had this one for about eight, maybe ten years, eight years. And in the day... They used to say it was made, I believe, with the Nitanian, which was their titanium woven into nylon or something. I don't know about all that stuff, but what I do know is I've dragged this thing around, loaded it up with, God, had to be 120 pounds of ammo plus the rifle and all kinds of other junk and a handgun in this pouch and have never found it to fail in the least. The stitching, the quality entire thing is top notch. They give you four pouches for your for your magazines. Fully adjustable flap, velcros in the back. You can get taller or shorter ones. You could use it for your AK. Velcros top quality. I've opened and closed these God knows how many times. They're still tighter than tight. They give you zipper pulls all the way around. The zippers are I think number 10 YKK is, so you know they're good. This pocket is big. If you put it like that, it's the whole length. I usually keep a handgun in here and all kinds of other junk. Yeah, you get your lens pen. Ooh. Lens pen. Instructions for the SIR system on my gun. All their stuff that's come with it. <laughs> Guaranteed for life, Black Hawk deal. Uh, usually I have a couple box tops in there from different ammo that I found to shoot good through different rifles. And uh, that's it. It'll open up into a shooting mat. It'll open fully. And there's a ton of room. There's no tie downs in here. That would be nice if they had some tie downs or some type of molly webbing. And the newer ones they might. Like I said, this is old. They have padding goes all the way around which covers up where the zipper is. Now this is something you'll find on a lot of cheap cases they don't have. They'll give you a really good looking case. It looks a lot like this one. and It'll be way cheaper. This was a gift, thankfully. And uh, you'll notice that they don't have that padding there. So you put your really expensive firearm in there, and especially one if you're trying to take really nice care of, and it'll just be riding that zipper the whole time on the inside. The zipper's where things usually fail. That zipper could blow out, and then there goes your gun. This the padding is taking the weight and distributing it to a greater spot than just that zipper so that's going to prevent that from happening and it's going to protect your firearm on the inside all the way around so that's a nice touch and I believe it feels like 3 8 I'm pretty sure that's what the brochure said way back when closed cell, doesn't hold moisture and it keeps your gun dry it's pretty waterproof in my opinion the handles all the way around to the bottoms on both sides and you'll see over here it goes underneath behind there and then it's behind that pocket it goes all the way around so it's very durable I've dragged this thing pulled this thing loaded this thing and you can't tell a difference in any inch of it from what's been done it comes with a very nice I believe it's two inch wide shoulder strap of Pretty high quality stuff. The strap's taking a lot of abuse too. The D rings, which are uh, painted, you see, it's starting to come off over time. They're welded, so they they won't. Uh, you see that? They're welded together at the seam. They won't come apart like a lot of other bags would under pressure. I have loaded the strap up with three. Three mag pouches, so you think about that, nine magazines of AR ammo, plus 100 round beta mag inside, plus the four loaded 30 round magazines in the outside, plus the gun, plus the pistol in the pouch, plus pistol ammo inside, and I've never had a problem. Oh, plus a bandolier was in there as well, so another 120 rounds, nope, 150, that was British. So... You can see it can hold the weight if you could pick it up. That was the hard part for me. It comes with a nice handle. They put this wrap around it. It's really comfortable to carry it. It has an attaching point here 
for depending how you want to attach your sling that it comes with so it could hang for you a little differently and they used to throw this in they call it their hawk tex if I remember right it's really a, a grippy type super soft rubber it feels like and you can slide that or move around remove it if you don't like it but uh, I found that it really works well so I left it on there to keep the bag from sliding off your shoulder especially when you have way too much weight in it so just a quick little bit on that if you guys are thinking about getting one of the Blackhawk bags uh, keep keep considering it and if you uh, have a couple others I know Eagle makes good stuff I know 511 has got a decent bag but Max Expedition seems to be the one that's really kicking out the good stuff right now but if you guys are still looking at Blackhawk and you don't mind spending a lot of money you get what you pay for and uh, I don't know if it's the world's finest tactical nylon but this is exceptionally fine tactical nylon that I think will outlast your rifle so just something to think about stay safe